Hello, I'm XR Mario X, and welcome back to Tron. I mean, Fairy Odd Parents breaking the rules. I'm XR Mario X, and there's some stupid monkeys here that we have to kill. So, yeah. Let's kill all the monkeys, because monkeys are evil, satanic beings, as you all know. Even though the evolutionists think, for some reason, that we evolved from monkeys, I personally think that they're filled with a bunch of bullcrap. So let's go in here. Just cause, and hey look, it's Chester. What are the buzzing noises I hear? Careful, Timmy, watch out for the- What the? Ooh. Where'd you get that tank? Alright. You press left and right and you press B to shoot at him. I believe there's actually a certain amount of cyber bees you need to kill. And it's actually easier to kill them when they get close to you. But it's actually kind of weird to control this thing. So I wouldn't recommend letting the cyber bees get past you. Because I think it's three and it's out for you. But as you can see, this freaking place is full of cyber bees. So you have to concentrate a bit. It's probably the hardest part of the mission. Kill the cyber bees, and we stop the bees! Yay! Yeah, oh. He's her. She's half right because Cosmo doesn't know what a savant is. Ooh, and now we got a nice evil purple look. I can tell. And now we got to go up, a s go up this river place of information. Oh man, this place looks so awesome. Just freaking awesome. I love this spiral hallway thing with all the balls trying to kill you. So many balls trying. Can you let me move, game? And let's kidnap the star. And yeah, we got a sixth extra life in this level. There is a ton of crowns in this level, as you can plainly see. It's probably the first level you should do. And look at these floating balls of evil. This is just awesome. Awesome. God, what is wrong with me? It's like a video game that's a parody of video games. Well, a video game with a level parody of video games. I love it when he gets that look in his eyes. The intelligent look? No, the dangerous one. I wish there were a way to crash this system. See what I mean? Yay. You need your witch is granted. When you attack, you'll fire data-eating discs. Discs? I know, right? And what is this disc that weapon? We fire the metal blades! We fire the metal blades, of course! Awesome! Well, that reminds me of the metal blades from Mega Man 2. So, yeah, you attack the force field with your disc, alright? And it opens the place. Whoa. Mother Brain? Looks like GLaDOS and Mother Brain mixed together. That is actually awesome. You have Mother Brain slash GLaDOS. You are mine! Wow, it is a Mother Brain GLaDOS thing. Hello, MCP. Or whatever that guy was called. Yeah, 
feeling. And I hate you. So yeah, what you gotta do here is just uh, wait for the beams and wait wait for the force field inside of her to wait. You're gonna transform me into a hedgehog? That would actually wait. Why am I thinking that that's a Sonic reference? And yeah, that is basically all you have to do. All right. And six hit, and she's gonna be down. I know, right? But yeah, what is that about the the CPU wanting to turn Timmy into a hedgehog? That's weird. So, yeah. What is that about the CPU wanting to turn Timmy into a hedgehog? Wouldn't that kind of work against her, considering this is a video game? By crash, I'll take you with me. Wow, wow, game. That is actually surprisingly sounds awesome, though. Okay, maybe not, but whatever. I'm just a big video game nerd. So yeah, the more you hit her, the more faster these force beams will go. But I don't really care. So yeah, and just keep on circling around her. Dodge the electricity she shoots out. And shoot the red, and shoot the red glowing part, which is obviously her re weakness. And now she's dancing. That's hilarious. I usually. Look. It's like she's trying to think of the most non-violent thing she thinks of, but she actually thinks of a famous video game character. That's funny. And now she only has one hit left, and she's on fire. Because the little guy, the little weak wuss always wins in these video games, man. Like, let's see, let's see, a, a super fast hedgehog versus gigantic, a gigantic freaking dangerous robot created by a su mad scientist. That always happens in video games, though. Too bad in the sequel, it was only for PS2. And it didn't have these awesome levels. But whatever. And let's save, just for lols. Let's overwrite, break into rules, whatever this file is. And we're, we escape the video game! We beat this evil CPU Vicky virus guy! Yay! <laughs> I guess. Even though that's my favorite level in the game. Even they want to play the video game again, but sadly we can't because there's more levels to do. No. Hey, look, history books. Who gives a frick? Let us go and to the crash landing. There's four crimson chin cards we will probably not collect, and three wishes. Speaking of You got your wish granted. Aliens that are attacking. This doesn't look good. What's worse? Having your brain sucked out through a bendy straw by aliens or being babysat by Vicky. I guess you have a point. Bendy straw. And hey look, it's his crash whatever. Costume, I forget. Crash Nebula or something, I don't remember. The fairy odd parents in Crash Landing. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh. Is that supposed to be raw sewage? I always thought that was like radioactive garbly goop or something. Cornflakes? The heck? Oh, wait, actually, I think it is radioactive garbly gluk that the aliens shoot out. Because right now, he's they're going to demonstrate it for us. So, 
See, they shoot the radioactive garbly gook. And they're gonna do that to that star, too. They just want to destroy the city. But who can blame them? After all... I got nothing. Down, down, down. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, but it's still kind of fun. It's not my favorite level, but it's... It's better than the final level. Really? Wait, where did Star go? Ah, uh, he went over there. Ah, uh huh. Ooh, look, it's the aliens again. Oh my god, what are they gonna do this time? Oh my god, I totally can't see this coming from a freaking mile away, what they're gonna do. Oh my god, they're destroying houses. What the frick? Oh my god, what are you doing? No, not the house. Not the stupid big house. No, you destroyed the nameless house no one cares about. How dare you destroy the house you that nobody cares about. Damn you. Damn you all to hell. Or whatever that one guy said when he saw the... Statue of Liberty buried half deep. No, he doesn't! That doesn't look like a Yugopotanium. The Yugopotaniums were green. That one's gray. It's like the aliens in Mad World, man. Ew. He actually does look like the aliens from Mad World. I wonder if he bleeds. Like. Red, blue. Let's check for Crimson Chin cards, which they are not here, oh, unfortunately. And my battery is low. Ouch. Dang frag frag. The battery is low. What is with that star spazzing out? Yeah, two to go, huh? Yeah, they shoot pink at us. Oh, and they're afraid of us, too. Which is hilarious. It's like, pesky you Yubogatamium. I'll touch you, you would die. Can I catch you anytime soon? Alright, where's that last star? I don't even think we can actually make that jump, so... Huh. Maybe that's one we're supposed to get later, or... Wait just a sec, no. Wait a second, maybe we can climb on top of these roofs? No, it doesn't seem like it, and... Uh, how are we supposed to get that final star? So yeah, this level is clearly not as linear as the last, but that's not a problem. Uh, oh wait, there's a house here that a wish star is running around like a freaking idiot in. He's not dancing like an idiot. I can show you how to dance like an idiot. Boop. Yay! Five stars! We can make a wish! Booyah! And after we make the, wi the make the wish, we're gonna stop this video, probably. Hurry up! Hurry up! Power gloves? That's awesome. Alright, next time, we're gonna do more crap in this game. I'm Expert Mario X. I need to change the batteries. Goodbye.